Hi, my name is Christian, and I'm a product specialist for Keith McMillan Instruments. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the latest SoftStep 2 foot controller with Persona Studio One, and specifically the guitar emulation software called Ampire. So in this example, I'm going to set up uh, the soft step to turn on and off stomp boxes, switch the A and B channel, and then I'm going to use an expression pedal plugged into the soft step to alter the frequency of the wah-wah. All very useful stuff for guitar players. So the first thing you're going to want to do is in uh, the soft step editor, you're going to want to import in uh, my soft step preset that I made for this. So, uh, if you look in the comments of this video, you'll see a link, and you can import that preset, import preset here, and file, and it's called S1 Empire. So, uh, you're welcome to grab that, and then you can play along. Basically, I've set up all the pads except for one on here to be toggles, so they can turn on and off and the lights correspond. So, the first thing I do is I go to Preferences, External Devices, and we're going to make a new external device, a control surface. And we'll call this uh, soft step, soft step empire, and the port soft step share, and then we go OK. And then uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll start uh, by doing the MIDI learn port uh, portion of Control Link. So let's grab the new device we just made, turn on MIDI Link, and then I will stomp on each of the pads of the soft step. And then I also I will move the uh, expression pedal. And uh, the expression pedal will leave as a knob. But the rest of these we want to change into on-offs. And then we can use the control link system to associate each of these pads with the on-off switches for the stomp boxes. But we're going to do something a little fancier. Because Studio One has two modes of mapping, both what we call global, which is normal one-to-one -one on all the time, but they also have focused mode, which can be really, really, really useful. Uh, focused mode means that the uh, mappings are only active when the uh, plug-in uh, is up and looking at you. So that way you can have multiple instances of Empire, and only the one that's up and active will be the one you're controlling. So to do that, what we're going to want to do is uh, go right here and select our new device we made, SS Empire, and then I'm going to hit pad. Uh, I'm going to hit the wah wah on off here in there. I'm going to hit pad one, and then we will associate it. And because it's yellow, we know that it's a focused mode, and we'll do that for each of these. This is the two driver and the equalizer, and so on. And then delay and reverb, and then we'll switch the uh, the channel switch. And then lastly, we're going to take this last button, this button zero, and do something a little fancier with it. Um, we're going to take this, put it into MIDI Learn mode, and uh, we're going to go uh, press release. That way, it's not an on/off. It's just a, you know, it's just a poke and it and it makes something happen. And I'm going to go assign command preset for search, and we'll go next preset. And what will this? And this will make that pad uh, go through the lists of presets in Empire, so you can shop for sounds. And then we also have our expression pedal, which I'm going to map to a wah-wah frequency. So we'll go back to here. And 
And there we go. So now the wah is being controlled by the expression pedal. And so, yeah, I can turn on and off stomp boxes. And the lights correspond on the, foot, on the uh, soft step, which is super cool. And then if you look, um, if I go to the top of the list of presets and then I hit pad zero, it's going to go down through presets. So you can shop for sounds. And then when you found one you like, you can hit stomps and turn on and off stomps to your heart's delight there as well. So there you have it. That's how to map the soft step to uh, Empire inside of Studio One. Uh, this is Christian. If you have any questions, I have my uh, Keith McMillan email down in the comments, and you're welcome to get in touch with me, and enjoy. <laughs>